Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 21st episode of my Black Ops Weapon Guide. We're halfway there. In this episode, we're covering the second available launcher, the RPG. It's a single-shot weapon, unlocked at level 12. Originating from the Soviet Union, the Ruchnoi Protivotankovi Grenatomyat Sim, or RPG-7, is a shoulder-launched anti-tank weapon. First introduced in 1961, it replaced the earlier RPG-2 as the Soviet Army's anti-tank launcher of choice. An inexpensive and rugged weapon, essentially consisting of little more than a tube and simple firing mechanism, the RPG-7 is capable of launching a wide range of ammunition. Anti-tank rounds are the most common, but high explosive, fragmentation and thermobaric rounds can also be used, meaning that the RPG-7 is a versatile weapon, suited to a wide range of targets. The rockets themselves consist of the warhead at the front and the rocket motor which rests in the launch tube. When fired, the booster ignites with quite some force, leaving a sizeable backblast behind the operator. In flight, the main motor ignites some 10 meters past launch and can propel the rocket to a distance of over a kilometer. Upon colliding with the target, the contact fuse is triggered and the shape charge detonates, creating a deadly cone of molten metal, capable of penetrating through thick layers of armor. The RPG is a single-shot weapon, having no magazine to speak of, and the 40mm launch tube accepts a variety of ammunition, with the most common being the PG-7V 85mm high-explosive anti-tank round. In-game, you'll be equipped with two such rockets, or three should you equip Scavenger Pro. Damage is identical to the RPG's closest comparison, the M72 Law. You'll see a lethal radius of around 3.8 meters with unprotected opponents. Against a flak jacket user at full health, you will need a direct impact to kill. Although unguided, the RPG can be employed against air support. A successful hit should down your target in one shot. However, given the lack of lock-on and unpredictable trajectory of the rocket, the RPG isn't the most effective tool for air defense. When equipped, you'll move at a snail's pace, 80% of maximum mobility, making the weapon more suitable for a defensive role. As with all the launchers, most of the weapon's handling characteristics are sluggish. Half a second to aim, and 3.2 seconds to ready a new rocket after firing. There are no attachments available for the RPG, so your choice here is simple, in that there isn't one. The perks you choose do have some influence, however. Scavenger is a very sensible choice, as it will grant you one extra rocket, giving you three shots total instead of the default two. Paired with your grenades, C4, and an assault rifle with the grenade launcher attachment, it makes for an effective explosives class. Also useful is Sleight of Hand Pro. This halves both the slow reload and aim time, giving you a much better chance at getting an aim shot off in a critical situation, and giving you much faster follow-up shots should you need them. Unlike the thrown explosives or grenade launcher, both of which follow an arc, the rockets you fire will travel along a roughly straight trajectory meaning that striking a surface near your opponent can be more difficult. Your firing position is very important to maximize the chances of a good hit. Maps with a high degree of verticality are useful. If you can get an eagle eyes view on a domination point or bomb site, you can fire rockets from above, more precisely control the detonation location, and effectively defend an objective against larger groups of people. This is where explosives shine. In any game mode where the enemy's movements are centered on an objective, you'll be able to better predict where your foe will appear, and stand a much better chance at scoring multiple kills with a single rocket. This applies even in team deathmatch. There exist a number of high traffic areas and choke points on most maps, where enemies tend to bunch up. This leaves them very vulnerable to explosives, assuming they've neglected to use flak jacket. As far as air support is concerned, the RPG is in theory as potent as the other launchers, but the lack of a lock-on means its practical applications are limited. If you have them equipped and find yourself without Ghost Pro, then by all means try and down a helicopter, just don't expect it to be easy to land a successful shot. The Strela 3 or M72 Law are both superior choices. The RPG is probably the best defensive launcher for use against enemy players, principally due to its healthier ammunition supply than the Law, and superior handling and damage to the China Lake. Against unprotected enemies bunched up at choke points, it's devastating. In the open, it's less effective. If you have a height advantage, it can work well, but all it takes is flak jacket and the effect of your missile will be thwarted. 
This makes the weapon unreliable at best, and paired with the RPG's inherent lack of accuracy at range, every shot will be a dice roll. Still, if the first rocket doesn't kill them, you've always a couple more. Not even a flak jacket user can sponge two rockets in quick succession. Explosives might be unreliable, but there's nothing better for crowd control. It's much harder to down a larger group of enemies with your primary weapon than it is with the application of a little heavy ordnance. Should your opponent neglect flak jacket as their first perk and have a proclivity for standing close to one another, the RPG will ensure they go out with a bang. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next time when I'll be covering the fourth SMG, the infamous AK-74U. Until then, farewell.